thank you for for always being there. It's another day the Lord has made it that we all should rejoice and be glad in his name. It's another day for us to come in together with God's word and by his spirit. So, don't be confused. Don't worry. A time always well spent with Jesus is not a time lost. Spiritually, we are gaining something. Yes, this is sure. Spiritually, we are gaining something. Even though there, is, there may be nothing be our disposal. But spiritually, something is being implanted in us. And Jesus Christ is the one doing the work. Our own is just to absolutely believe and trust him that he's using working out the answer. There are so many examples in the Bible. I love this story about my brother Joseph. Our brother Joseph. No matter how the family gang up. No matter how the brothers persecuted him. As they were abusing, advancing him to his destination. Yes, that was Joseph's story. The challenges he went through. He did not work on bed of rosaries, but he was passing through broken bottles, pit, potify house, the prison. At the end of the day, he was placed on his original position. So your challenges is not a way, or maybe we interpret to you that heaven has, heaven has forgotten you. No. Challenges in our life merely advance us to our original purpose in life. Brethren in Christ, let us be strong in heart. If truly we have been converted and believe in heart that we have taken Jesus into heart, that we will be his weakness and followers, no matter the circumstances, we will remain true behind him. Let us live in that mood and in that realm. Let's go in the book of Matthew. There's a passage, the Spirit of God directed me there for us to, to refresh our heart, to know where we are heading to. The book of Matthew, chapter 7. Matthew, chapter 7. We should take our Bible. Matthew, chapter 7, verse 26 to the end. Means 26 to 29. But everyone who hears this word of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who builds his house Son, 27. The rain came down, the stream rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. 28. When Jesus has finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching. 29. Because he taught as one who had authority and not as their teachers of the law. And not as their teachers of the law. Brothers in Christ, at the beginning in each person's life, when you are about to lay the foundation, it is always difficult. Your foundation is your sources. At the beginning of each person's life or relationship, it is always difficult. Yes. Yeah, the Holy Spirit in the life of Matthew is giving us a vital and important example there. That each time any of us want to lay a foundation, it is a moment for reflection and precaution. Because your foundation is your sources. Brethren in Christ, it's clear. I say your foundation is your sources. The way you build the foundation. When challenge comes, when trial comes, you will be able to restore it. And where is that foundation? That foundation is our heart. Our heart needs to be grounded and rooted with God's word. And what is God's word? The testimony of your conscience is God's word. The testimony of our conscience is God talking to us. You must believe in that testimony of your conscience. Because the moment signal comes, it will try. It's like, a, it's like water storm 
that come towards a house. It will be hitting the wall. But as far as the foundation is rooted and grounded in God's way, it cannot put the house down. So no matter what you are going through, in challenges, persecution, suffering, stagnation, backwardness, delay, that should not stop you. He said it should make you more stronger. That's what Macho is encouraging us. That we should not be like the foolish man. That because of desperation, because of hastiness, he will go and do and make his foundation on a sandy soil. Tomorrow, when the wind comes, tomorrow when the storm comes, that foundation cannot stand the test of time. And we all can believe that in that period of laying foundation is the most stressful period in one's life. In a relationship, in the beginning of your life, your business transaction, your business colleague, each time there will always be challenges at the beginning. Challenges at the beginning. Same thing as you have made up your heart that you want to be a witness and a follower of Jesus. Most of us think and feel that this will be so easy. Calling the name Jesus from your heart does not stop adversaries. Brethren in Christ, calling the name Jesus, believing Jesus, be his genuine follower, does not stop adversaries. They will come, but they will not pull you down. They will try, but they will not succeed. That should be our conviction. We should not be in a haste. Because out of desperation, we all we are hungry for promotion in life. We all we are hungry for a new level in life. We all we are hungry to be elevated the next level in life. But we should not apply desperation. Because when you are desperate, you may easily lay your foundation in a sandy soil. Where you are, don't think or reason that you are abandoned by Jesus. No. He's working something that will not only better your life, it will change the course of your life for eternity. Better in Christ. Let us be diligent the way we lay our foundation. And to lay that foundation is within you, not without. You cannot be clean on the outside. Everybody admire your structure. But on the inside, you are not strong. This word is confessed to us here. On the verse 26, this is Matthew 7, verse 26 here. He says, But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. Are you getting it? Means that in every of your thoughts, you need to examine it clear before you manifest. In any of your thoughts, Within you, you need to examine it before manifestation. Means you must take precaution as you are laying that foundation. Walk with the testimony of your conscience, brethren in Christ. That is the area that we that confess that we are followers of Jesus. We are his children. We are his children, but most of us will make vital mistake. We should not use the language. That unbelievers are using. We should not use the language that outcasts are using. Because as far as someone is a genuine follower of Jesus, the person is a role model in society. Jesus Christ was facing his own challenges. Jesus Christ was facing his own predicament in life. He did not cry out to the Pharisees and Sadducees. Jesus did not cry. To the Pharisees and Sadducees, he stood his tongue and defended his cause. The time that Jesus was celebrating on earth is very few, very few like this. But his challenging moment was plentiful. And each time you feel that the whole way is against you, believe in heart that Jesus is for you. Are you getting me? The moment you feel and think that all oh, your surroundings feel discouraging, you are lonely, 
You are not lonely. Get in heart that you are surrounded. Please. It is not how a structure is beautiful, but how grounded and rooted is it. Because some of us say we are children of God. Some of us say we are believers. But when challenge you come, we turn our back from Jesus. Jesus did not dodge any of his challenges. Today, the whole way is beginning to acknowledge Jesus in their life. But at the beginning, that was not the case. Jesus knew where he was heading to. That was where he stood the test of his own time. Without trembling. So, brethren in Christ, lay a vital and important foundation. And no other foundation can be laid. Because Jesus has already laid the foundation. It is for us to be rooted and grounded in his word. And that word is in the heart of believers. I know you are a believer. This is what he's talking about. On verse 26. That we should not be like the foolish man that built a house on a sandy area. The moment challenge comes, he turns his back from Jesus. The moment failure comes, he turns his back from Jesus. No. We don't focus where we are for. We'll get up and focus where we are going to. Better than Christ. God's children do not focus where they fail. But their focus is where they are heading to. Stop focusing where you slice or where you fail. But focus where you are heading to. Your destination matter. Your destination matter. Your destination will, will answer your critics. Your destination will answer those who are against you. Use this energy to focus about the future, brethren in Christ. Use this energy now to focus about the future you desire. A lesson for us to learn today, we should be careful if you confess you are a child of God. 27, the rain came down, the stream rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great what? A great crash. Brother in Christ, that will not be our portion in Jesus' name. We will put a solid foundation that is rooted and grounded in God's word. The testimony of your conscience is final. It must be positive. It must be constructive. It must be positive and constructive. The testimony of your conscience. It should not be destructive. Yes. We will not behave like the foolish man. Our foundation will be rooted and grounded in God's word. Never you think that if you are constantly calling the name Jesus, you are out of touch. Will you read your Bible carefully, repeatedly? From Genesis to Revelation, there is no passage that Jesus Christ promised us that despite you believe in me, you will not be touched. But there is a passage. He says what? I will see you through. Simple. Means that for me, Benjamin, when I sense that I sense challenges, it means I'm on the right path. Yes, there is no lesson that you and I can learn in breakthrough. Am I talking to you, brother in Christ? I say there is no lesson that you and I can learn when things are okay in our life. When things are okay. It makes your life, it makes your flesh lively. If it makes you as if it makes you as if you have arrived. But when challenge comes, there is a moment people want to see how you demonstrate your belief in the God you confess. Better than Christ. Don't allow that challenge to weigh you down. Don't allow that setback to weigh you down. Don't allow the failure to weigh you down. They are there for a purpose. Challenging has its own mission. Failure has its own mission. That situation you are passing through has its own mission. It's like you are in a tunnel. At the end of the day, you 
see that lie, you desire. But you should not apply desperation. We are hungry. You are hungry, I know. I'm also hungry, I also know. When I say I mean hungry, it's not only food. You are hungry for the right level in life. You are hungry for promotion. You are hungry. Another step in life. We should not use shortcuts. You are hungry. But don't be desperate. Because the God you believe you are serving knows where you are. And he knows where he's carrying you to. That 28, he says what there? He says, when Jesus had finished saying this, these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching. Yes. When Jesus Christ gave them the explanation that my children, believers, don't lay your foundation on a sandy soil. Because many of us confess Jesus is Lord. I'm a follower of Jesus. I'm a witness of Jesus. But when sickness come, you deny your faith. When poverty come, you deny your faith. When failure comes, you deny your faith. Failure, poverty, stagnation, disappointment. They are all lessons in our life as God's children. Is it clear? They are all lessons in our life as the chosen one. The moment you attack, that is the moment you seek for God's intervention. And when he look into you and see that truly you are for him, he will come to your aid. Brethren in Christ, let us not attribute our circumstances to our faith. Don't think and fear that what you are going through, you don't have faith. Don't think and fear that your poverty means you don't have faith. Don't think and fear that your failure means you don't have faith. You have faith. But our faith must be tested. Sweet things cannot test our faith. Good things can never test our faith. Challenges test our faith. Failure test our faith. Backwardness test our faith. Agitation test our faith. Blasphemy test our faith. That is faith. It must be tested. So when Jesus Christ educated the massive, they were astonished. They were amazed of his teaching. Because what Jesus was preaching to them, it was not law. But he was merely standing, interpreting law in a different format. We call it revelation. When someone stands preaching to you, he's not preaching copy on the Bible. The person should stand as a minister of God. Giving to you the revelation of the Holy Spirit. Brethren in Christ. Anything that does not bring surprise in people's life. There will be no lesson in it. Is it clear? Anything that will occur, happen in your life. If it does not bring surprise in the eyes of men. There is no lesson for people to learn in it. So you are not waiting for a miracle. That happened to one of your brother or sister. Yours will be divine and will be unique. And when you are waiting something that will be unique in your life, you will with it patiently. That is Benjamin's character. That is what I manifest. That is my conviction in Christ Jesus. Brother in Christ. I'm not standing here to instigate you. But I'm standing here to encourage you that you don't, don't focus on your present circumstances. Don't focus on your situation. No matter the challenge you are going through, the God you are serving is still saying something. You are passing through. Don't stop. Pass through it. Better than Christ. We don't focus in it. We pass through it. That is Jesus for us. On this 28th year, they were, they were amazed that when Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching. 29. Because he taught as one who had authority and not as their teachers of the law. Yes. The people confirmed 
the ministration of Jesus Christ. The people listening to Jesus understand Jesus' explanation in God's way. You must be baptized with power on high in order for you to manifest God's word. You must be baptized with power on high in order for you to explain God's way better than Christ. And the moment you live in that realm, the moment you live in that angle, when your own miracle will happen, people will be surprised. People will ask questions. Brethren in Christ, never you misunderstand your delay. Never you misunderstand what you are going through is for a purpose. Don't act out of character. Don't allow feeling. Don't allow fleshly desire to dictate your direction. Brethren in Christ, I'm here as a brother praying for you, encouraging you that Jesus cares for us no matter the circumstances we are going through. You see our way. The evidence of our relationship is persecution. The evidence of our relationship is name calling. The evidence of our relationship is stagnation. But we don't fit in it. We are passing through it. Better in Christ. I'm here to encourage you. And I'm here to strengthen you. To be a brother. For us to pray together. Father, here we stand as your sons and daughter seeking for your intervention in whatever we may be going through. Rescue us from the hands of our enemies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, rescue us from the hands of our enemy. Rescue us from the hands of our oppressors in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rescue us, Lord Jesus, in this desperate situation, rescue us. Give us freedom. Intervene in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Intervene in our life, Lord Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Intervene in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, give us that endless strength in our hearts. Give us that endless strength, that endless effort. That we should lay this foundation that is rooted and grounded in your way. If challenges come, we still stand. Sickness come, we still stand. Stagnation come, we still stand. Failure comes, we still stand. Lord Jesus, energize us, Lord, with your indwelling word. Give us, Lord, the power to resist devil. Give us power to resist Satan, demon in heavenly realm. Give us a power. Father, no matter what we may be going through, we will not stop. We will continue. Because you promised to see us through. Lord Jesus, any monitoring spirit that may be behind us, behind your children, bringing them delay, Lord Jesus, they should not fall in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, they should not fall. They should not fall. They should not get tired because we are in that period that Bible says many will not call my name. Many will abandon their faith. Lord Jesus, I pray we should not be this generation to abandon our faith in your name. This period will pass. We will stand. Lord Jesus, this period will pass. They will stand. This period will pass. We will stand in your name. Father, it is your strength we need to resist the devil and demons because we know they are the cause of our predicament. They are the cause of our situation. They are the cause of our circumstances we are facing unfavorable to us. Rescue your children, Lord. As we stand in one accord, as we stand in accordance with your word, Lord, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Rescue us from that demonic oppressors. Rescue us from that familiar spirit. Rescue us from that demon that will be monitoring our family. Rescue us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Rescue us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anyone under the sound of this prayer, viewers, brethren in Christ, anyone under the sound of this prayer, nothing will be for you that will be against you. Nothing will be for you that will stand against you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Nothing. You will be strengthened. In your challenges, you will be strengthened in your predicament, you will be strengthened in your failures, you will be strengthened, you will come out victorious. You will come out victorious, brethren. Nothing will be for you that will weigh you back. You will not be like the foolish man. Jesus warned us that we should not lay our foundation. On a sanding area. When the massive heard what Jesus Christ was ministering, they were amazed because Jesus was not interpreting the word on the pages. Jesus was not interpreting the word on paper, but he was using, giving pure revelation that be careful how you, you lay your foundation. Many of us today. We are suffering because of what our forefathers did. Look at Africa today. How many nations in Africa, how many heads of state are willing to industrialize Africa? How many heads of state are willing to industrialize their nation? But look at Asia. Look at America. Look at Western continent. They have industrialized their nation. What did our forefathers did for us? To bring demon in our houses. To bring demon, to bring witchcraft in our compound. But look at Western continent. Look at Asia. Look at America. They have industrialized their nation. But we Africa, we abusing, worshiping idol. And the idol is taking Africa nowhere. The idol is taking our nation nowhere. Lord Jesus, your children are in that nations, that other continent. You send them there for a purpose. Any spirit that does not work good in their life, be seized in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any spirit that does not work good, that does not rescue them. That does not assist them for their goal in life. You that spirit cease in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You that spirit cease in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You that spirit cease. You spirit of failure cease. You spirit of delay cease. You spirit of stagnation cease. You spirit of backwardness cease. Cease in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, open your heart. Connect by faith. Connect by faith. Any spirit from your four forefathers says in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Says in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Says in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brother in Christ, take your position in believers' authority. You are not a victim. You are innocent. You are a victor. Stand as a believer. We will testify. We will testify Jesus' goodness. Be true. Better in Christ. Be true in whatever you are doing. Sincerity is what the Holy Spirit needs from us. Truthness is what the Holy Spirit needs from us. Honesty is what the Holy Spirit needs for us. Lord Jesus, any spirit that works against your children, stop it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, any spirit that works against your children, stop it. You spirit of failure, I call you by name. You spirit of sickness, disease, infirmity, I call you by name. Cease in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Cease in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Since I declare breakthrough, healing, breakthrough, healing, deliverance, 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 healing, breakthrough, healing, breakthrough, in Jesus' name. 